Go. Hello, I'm Rosalie Cristani, Deputy President of Rise Up Australia Party. I'm here with Nathan Ablett from the famous Ablett footballing family here in Australia. So it's lovely to have you here today, Nathan, and just tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, okay, so my, my name's Nathan Ablett. Uh, I grew up down in Torquay, along the Great Ocean Road, down in Victoria. Uh, I played football for the John Cats, um, 05 to 07, um, and which uh, in 07 I was fortunate enough to win a premiership. Um, obviously, yeah, the, uh, I've got a bit of a history with our, with our name, the Ablett uh, family, so um, yeah, I've got a dad who played at Geelong and a brother who played at Geelong as well, and I uh, played, I think, uh, one or two games at the Gold Coast with my brother as well, so. So who doesn't know the famous Gary Ablett's? The junior and senior. Yeah, very good. in Victoria, I don't think you'll, uh, if you hear that name, you know it's a, it's a footy name. So yeah, Yes, excellent. Oh, very good. So we saw this week um, AFL had made a controversial decision to change their logo to Yes to promote the same-sex marriage um, Yes uh, campaign. So what do you think about that and do you believe in same-sex marriage? Yeah, when I heard about the uh, decision, I thought it was uh, a bit one-sided decision. Uh, I thought that there was both sides. Uh, people had a side to say no, people had a side to say yes. Uh, and for the AFL to say, look, we support it, I thought it was a bit unfair to those who don't want to support it. So I think that was pushing a side to things. Uh, what I think about it is, look, I don't agree with it. I think that... Um, you know, a, a children growing up uh, deserve uh, a mother and a father mm. uh, to be able to to know both sides. For a, for a son to know his dad and his mum, and for a daughter to know their mother and their father. That's right. Yeah. Well, we know that marriage does end up resulting in children. So um, you know, nine times out of ten, there's children involved. So that's a good answer. Yeah. All right. Well, is there anything more you want to say on the subject? Uh, look, I just think that um, you know, if people are, are wanting to make the decision, I, I just hope that people do their research um, and do you know their homework into what they're actually deciding to do, mm -hmm. what the changes involve, uh, because I think it's a very important decision for Australia. Yes. Um, the marriage has been in since the beginning, and if uh, we want to change it, then let's look at all the changes that and and what the outcome of what's going to happen from those changes. I think very important. So. Um, I think it's important that we talk about it, discuss about it, and um, yeah, hopefully um, you know people are clear on what what's really going to lead to. So. So last question, and why is it you decide to speak out now about this issue? I think it's uh, something that every I've got no kids. Um, I have I haven't been married, um, but I think it's an important thing to be able to um, kids to grow up. Uh, with that, you know, that, that figure, the father figure, the mother figure, um, and look what the complications of what it will lead to. Um, it's, it's unknown what it will uh, lead into, but I just want the next generation to come through knowing that, you know, they're going to have the, uh, a father and a mother mm -hmm. making the decisions for them, um, and not rather someone like a, you know, the government, that I, I believe it's a parent's right, a mother and a father coming together, um, the way it's always been. Um, do you think the churches, sorry, second last or last question, do you think the churches are doing enough to speak out about this issue? Well, it's interesting, Rosie, because um, sometimes I'll talk about it with people and um, look, I think it's, so many people have so many different opinions. Uh, look, I would like to see uh, the church make a bit more of a stand. I think it's, um, I don't think it's, it's something that um, you know, it's just to be talked about, to be discussed in the congregations a bit more um, because I think a lot of people are unaware. Even when I talk to, um, you know, my, uh, my mates, it's something that we don't really know a lot about. Mm. Um, mm. So I think it's something that we should stand up a lot more, discuss a lot more, yeah. and I think take a stand a bit more. Um, not to say that, hey, you know, we don't, or against homosexuals or anything like mm. that, mm. Um, but I think it's just um, you know by making a stand. I mean by praying, praying for uh, mm -hmm. you know the nation right now because mm. you know it is like I said, it's a big decision. Um, yes. So I just hope that you know the right decision is made and um, yeah.
Okay, thank you. Well, thanks for having, uh, thanks for coming on, Nathan, and I uh, look to forward to talking to you more. No, thank worries, you. Thanks. thanks.